Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series and today I thought we'd take a look at a supergroup that hasn't really been around that long but they released a number of albums in a short time and usually in my opinion supergroups don't always work because every musician has a strong personality everybody is a star in their own right and everybody wants to be in charge and everyone has to try and compromise with one another's identities and nine times out of ten supergroups usually lead to disaster that is the case in rock music but not in the case of jazz because when you have a jazz supergroup comprised of all-star musicians everybody respects one another's abilities everybody respects what each other brings to the table and it's a team effort and everybody pulls all their talents together to try and make it work and the supergroup that I am going to be talking about today is of course The Impossible Gentleman comprised of Gwilym Simcock on piano who's played with just about everybody from the sax assault to Kaz Simmons to Tim Garland to Joe Locke to Bill Bruford's Earthworks Kathleen Wilson Spike Wells and he's currently a member of the Pat Smithini Quartet with Linda Mahan O and Antonio Sanchez and he's also played with a number of great musicians like Wolfgang Musfield. So William Simcock is a highly decorated pianist and he's played with just about everyone and he's released a number of albums under his own name. And also on guitar is Mike Walker, who's played with just about everybody, from John Taylor to Anthony Braxton to Dave Holland to George Russell to Tommy Smith to Arid Anderson, Tim Byrne, Tal Farlow, Vince Mendoza, Pally Mickleborg, Misha Paris. He's been around a long time and he's played with just about everybody as well. And of course, Impossible Gentlemen feature an all-star rhythm section comprised of Steve Swallow on bass, who has played with just about everybody, from Paul Blay to Carla Blay to Gary Burton to John Schofield. He's played with just about everybody, and Steve Swallow is a true living legend of the bass. And of course, we've got the legendary Adam Nussbaum on drums, who has played with just about everybody as well, from John Abercrombie to Paul Blay to Michael Brecker to George Cables, to Ted Kirsten, to Gil Evans, to Hal Galper, to Lee Connitz, David Lieben, Miroslav Vitches, John Schofield, Ed Summerlin. He's played with just about everyone. Now the band have released three studio albums, as you can see, and we're going to talk about each and every one of those albums, and we're going to start with the first one, which is Impossible Gentleman, which is their self-titled debut, which came out in 2011. And this features William Simcock on piano, Mike Walker on guitar, Steve Swallow on bass, and Adam Nussbaum on drums. So, four compositions written by Mike Walker, three compositions written by William Simcock, and one composition by Adam Nussbaum. And they make a great impact. A lot of strong tracks on this. Laugh Lines, Clockmaker, When You Hold Her, You Won't Be Around to See It, Walinda's Last Stand, Will's Song, Play the Game, and Shorewood Baby. Outstanding debut album from a real supergroup of jazz musicians from the US and Britain. So let's have a look. So there's William Simcock, and there's Mike Walker. There's the boys <laughs> clowning around. Some more clowning around from the guys and some great playing here. Every track on this album, outstanding. I would say the standout tracks is Laugh Lines, Clockmaker and Shorewood Baby. And what I like about the first album is it has so many influences of jazz, rock, European fusion everything going for it and it's even sounds at times sounds like the Pat Metheny group so that's no surprise and as I said great debut album fantastic and you know my dad and I had a conversation about this because I said to him a couple of weeks ago 
what do you like about Impossible Gentleman? Because there are a couple of musicians you don't normally care for. And he said that, I don't know really, because something about the four of them, when they get together, it just works. And he's right, you know, this is tremendous stuff. And I would say the star of this album is probably William Simcock. I mean, his piano playing on this album is absolutely dominant and it's felt throughout from start to finish. And, you know, everybody gets their turn to strut their stuff. But I would say the star of this album is definitely, without a doubt, William Simcock. And this is some of his best piano playing. So, great debut album, great start, strong album, start to finish. So as we move along, The Impossible Gentleman come back with a second album called Internationally Recognised Aliens. Same lineup again, Mike Walker on guitar, William Simcock on piano, Steve Swallow on bass, Adam Nussbaum on drums, and a guest appearance from PMG bass player Steve Rodby, who also produced this album. Now, I went to this tour and Steve Rodby was on bass because Steve Swallow left halfway through this album so what started out as just a producing gig ended up with Steve Rodby joining the band full time and it works you know again another great strong album Hute Lotia, Just To See You, Modern Day Heroes, The Silver of Other Lovers Crank of Cambay, Love in Unlikely Places, which is like a duo with Simcock and Walker on piano and acoustic guitar, Barber Blues, and Ever After, and Steve Rodby is featured on two tracks on acoustic bass. So let's have a look. As you can see. <laughs> There's the guys clowning around again. There's Simcock. Adam, Nuss Adam Nussbaum doing his thing. Simcock and Rodby. There's all the gentlemen in the same room. That's pretty cool, I think. There's uh, Walker and Simcock. And there's Rodby doing his job. Great producer that he is. There's the man himself, and just want to give a quick shout out, a special happy birthday to Steve Rodby today, who is 66 years old. All the best to the great man himself, and there's the guys doing their thing. Now, I got to meet uh, Steve Rodby after the gig, because I went to see Impossible Gentleman in 2015 with my dad, and he's a really great guy outstanding musician and a really great human being and his producing skills on here are just second to none so great album strong tracks I would say Love in Unlikely Places I would also say Just to See You which has got a great bass solo from Steve Rodby and Barber Blues which is great bass work from Rodby again and another great strong album because the first album did really well, and you'd thought this would just be a one-off, but Impossible Gentlemen proved that they weren't just a one-off. They were here to make an impact, and they did once again with this great follow-up, so outstanding stuff. So as we move along, we come to the third album. Steve Swallow is gone, and Steve Rodby is now permanent, and we've got another lineup change with another new member joining the mix. And this came out in 2016 called Let's Get Deluxe. Again, features Mike Walker, William Simcock, Adam Nussbaum, Steve Rodby, and the newest edition, Ian Dixon, who plays soprano, tenor sax, clarinet, bass clarinet, flute, and alto flute. And this album's got a much more slick production because... William Simcock plays keyboards, he plays French horn, flugelhorn, accordion, vibraphone, marimba, and he plays a little bit of percussion as well. Uh, Mike Walker does a bit of dog whistling and he plays electric guitar and acoustic guitars. And of course Steve Rodby's playing acoustic bass and Nussbaum is of course playing drums. And I went to this tour as well in 2016 and again I met with Steve Rodby and he basically told me that 
he wanted to have a much more broader and slick production and this album is really really slick and it almost sounds like the lost PMG album there are some tracks on here that do sound like PMG a lot so we've got 10 tracks let's get to deluxe it could have been a simple goodbye which is a tribute to the late John Taylor a Fedora Fedora miniature Terrace Legend Dog Time or as Mike Walker would say Dog Time Holdouts for the Sun Intro to Propane Jane Propane Jane Speak to Me of Home excellent album really good there you go, Impossible Gentlemen are now a quintet. Five guys in the band. There's the caravan in the car. The old uh, dynamic duo there. <laughs> uh, there's Simcock. There's Walker. More of the guys in action. And everyone just clowning around. The chap's live. Some sleeve notes there. And a nice shot of the guys. Round of applause. Again, very hard to say really because all these albums are strong in their own right. They're all good. So, there you have it. Very small discography, three albums. If I had to choose my favourite, I would probably go with Let's Get Deluxe because it's got a very slick sound and some great tracks, but won't bash these two. All good, very hard to choose, but I'm going with this one because I love listening to this one. It's really, really good. And Rodby's influence is felt all throughout this recording so three studio albums the bands are currently on hiatus at the moment because everybody's just busy doing their own thing William Simcott is with Pat Metheny's quartet Steve Rodby's producing with a number of famous musicians Adam Nussbaum's playing with a lot of other people and of course Mike Walker is doing his own thing and I think Ian Dixon he's playing in a big band I think last time I heard he was in the Jules Holland big band so he gets around they're all highly on in demand session men in their own rights but i really hope that we do see impossible gentlemen again because they're a damn good band and they're living proof that supergroups can indeed work so anyway that's it from me i'm going to wrap this up now what's your thoughts on the impossible gentlemen do you have any favorite albums is it internationally recognized aliens they're self-titled or let's get deluxe. You know what to do guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below and I would I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums review series. So until next time, take care everybody and stay safe.